Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is uh, show you how to solve for your missing variable when provided the exterior angle instead of the interior angles. Now, again, to kind of review, when you're trying to solve for the interior angles, what we're trying to do is it's all based on what is the sum of the interior angles based on the number of sides, right? And it's always going to change from a quadrilateral to a um, hexagon. The sums are always going to be different. What's nice about when we're dealing with problems that give us angles of the exterior angles, it doesn't matter how many exterior angles we have, we know that the sum is always going to equal 360 degrees. So therefore, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to write one big large equation. And I know it's a little bit extra work, and a lot of students don't want to take that extra work. Um, but it's going to be very, very helpful to make sure we don't make any mistakes. So I know that the sum, that means if I add all of these exterior angles, that's only going to equal 360 degrees. So I'll start right here. And I'm just going to start writing a big equation. So I'll say 5x plus 5 plus 5x plus 4x minus 6 plus 5x minus 5 plus 4x plus 3 plus, let's get this up there, plus 6x minus 12 plus 2x plus 3 equals 360. Okay? So I have this big long equation, and I can easily break this down by now combining like terms. Um, remember all the terms that have x's, I can combine those together. And I can do that um, in my head, but I want to label them to make sure that I'm not making a mistake. I can also combine all of these numbers together. Okay, So I'm going to say it out loud. I'll do the numbers up top first, and then that will kind of help me. So I have 5x plus 5x is 10x, plus 4x is 14x, plus another 5x is uh, 19x, plus another 4x is 20, um, 19x, 23x. Uh, this would be 29x, and that would be 31x. So by combining all my x's, I have 31 x's, and then I do 5 plus negative 6 is negative 1, plus another negative 5 is negative 6, uh, plus 3 is now negative 3, uh, minus 12 is going to be negative 15. I don't remember I had that. 5, 6, right, negative 6 negative 3, negative 15, OK, negative 15, and then that would be negative 12. So I have 30, 31x minus 12 equals 360 degrees. So even though it's a very long equation, I was able to quickly break that down into um, a two-step equation. Now I can go and solve. So I add 12 on both sides. And I have 31x equals 372. Now just divide by 31, divide by 31. And x equals um, 12. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you saw find the missing measure when provided all of your exterior angles. Thanks.